Hi, this is Lita from Lita Scrapbooking Life, and we're going to make these pages. So, this is the page. So we're going to make four of these. And this is what the flip flop uh, insert is going to go in. And on the back, it's going to have a flap for you to put another card inside of. So, we're going to get these made, and these are just made out of envelopes. And the kind of envelope that I used is just a 6 by 9 inch envelope. These are white. You can use the yellow ones that have the little brad right here. You just need to take the brad off, cut it out. It'll leave a little hole in there. But that's okay because you're going to cover it with paper anyway. So don't worry about that if you can't find these white ones and you want to use those. So the first thing you're going to want to do since we want this to be a square page and we're going to use the bottom to make our pocket. Since this is six inches wide across this way, then we're going to want to measure six inches down and whatever the end here is, that's what it is. It's not going to matter because that's going to become our pocket. And you're going to score it. So you're going to go from the flap up here, you're going to measure six inches down because your envelope is six inches wide. Okay? Score it right across here. Then you're going to fold that up like this. And we're going to end up gluing that down. That's going to become our pocket. Okay? And the reason we're folding it backwards, I'm folding it backwards, is because I want to have a pocket on this side for my flip-flop insert to fit into and I want to be able to flip it over and have a flap with a pocket back here to put another card in. So that's why we're folding it that way. Now after you score it, you're going to want to cut the end off here because you want this to be open. So cut that off and on mine you've got this little piece. It, it's where the envelope was folded over and glued. I'm going to remove that and tear it off so that it's not showing here on the edges when I put my paper on it. Okay, so let's go to this one that I've taken that off of. And you'll notice it's, it's kind of a little rounded now and it's ripped. That's okay though because I'm going to be covering that. So I'm just going to fold this right on the scoring just like that. Okay, and now I'm ready to kind of start putting this together. So I need a way to bind it. So what I need now is I need this piece right here. I need this piece that I'm going to punch holes in to bind the page because I don't want to take up part of my page and punch holes in it here. So what I'm going to do is just take an index card and since this measures six inches here, I'm going to cut my index card four inches tall. Four inches by two inches. And that's going to give me a piece like this. Okay? Then I'm going to take that four by two inch piece. Let's see if you can see that. Four by two inch piece, and I'm going to score it right down the middle. Okay, so it's one inch on each side. And then I'm going to fold that in half. Okay, just like that. Alright, then I take my crop and I'm just going to cut a curve there. So now you can see how it's starting to look like this piece. Okay, so I'm going to cut a curve there. Now, I'm going to open this up. And the nice thing about an index card, I can kind of use it to measure. You just want to make sure that you make them all the same. But you can, and I'll glue this here. And what I'll do is I'll measure an inch and an inch and I'll, and I'll glue that. Okay? But before I glue this on, I'm going to go ahead and ink this because this one is that white envelope. I've just inked it up with the Tim Holtz tea dyed distress ink. So I'm going to ink this up 
and I just take my ink and ch -ch 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 all the way around. You can see here's where I marked my inch and my inch. Okay, I marked all the way because I'm going to be covering this with paper and did both sides. Okay, ink to this on this side. So now I can open this up and center it and I'm going to glue that down. Okay and use whatever kind of adhesive you like. But you can see that now, once this is all put together, I'm going to have a place that I can punch my holes and it's not going to punch into my page. Now I'm going to put adhesive on this flap and I'm going to glue this flap down good and solid, just like that. So I'm going to glue this down. Okay, now I'm going to cut a piece of paper, of pattern paper, um, on this one, I used kind of this green. This came out of the Faith Pack by the Paper Studio. And I'm just going to cut a piece that's about three and a half, four inches, enough that it'll go down in the pocket. Okay. And then I'm going to ink it up. I'm not worried about this thing because it's going to go in the pocket. Ink it up. And this is glued down. I'm going to slide this in just like that and glue it down. Okay, it's going to be over this piece, oops, over this piece, just like that. Okay, now I've got the front of this pocket where I've ripped this off and I really want to cover that up. So now I'm going to cut another piece, about four inches, and I'm going to measure from here to here, whatever this measurement is, and I like to leave about a fourth of an inch down here, and I'm going to score it and fold it and ink it, and then glue that in place right there just like that so now I've got a pocket but it's nice and finished okay I'm going to flip this over on the other side and remember this will be inked I haven't inked this side of it because I was showing you what the back side would look like and I'm going to open this up I'm going to get another piece of paper. Since this is six by six, I'm going to cut this five and a half by five and a half, and it's going to fit here. The way I get this curve is I slip this paper down in here, and then trace the curve, and then pull it back out and cut it. And that way, it's exactly the same curve as the envelope. And then, once this is all glued in place, I'll glue this down just like that. Okay, I'll cut another piece of paper for the inside, and I'll take that off and glue, and see it'll glue just like that, and I'll tuck it inside there, and then score it, and tuck it and glue it down inside there. Then you've got a nice place for a card that you can tuck down inside there. Okay, on the top, I'm going to put another piece of pattern paper that I'm going to ink, and I, I measure these as I go. And the way I get this curve, I cut this width. I measure and cut it the width of my flap. And then I just slide it under here like this and get that edge, trace it, cut it off, okay? And then set it up here like this, pull it across, and I kind of just mark where I want the other edge to be. Stick it under the flap, line it up, trace it, pull it out, cut it, make sure it fits the way I want it to fit, and then I ink it up. So you can see when it's all done, it'll look like that, and it goes really well with my pattern paper that I'm going to use to make my flip-flop. So that's it. I'm going to make four of those pages. They're going to turn out like this. They'll each have a pocket on one side. On the other side, they'll have a flap where you can insert a card. So I'm going to make four of those pages to put in my mini album. So that's it for this part. Um, and now you can take a look at how we make the flip-flop insert, which is what most people are really interested in seeing. So that's coming up next. So remember, when life gives you scraps, make something beautiful. This is Lita for Lita Scrapbooking Life. See you in the next part. Bye.